In this video, we're going to talk about sequences that are defined recursively. And what I mean by that is that maybe you have a few terms which are just specified. So for example, I might tell you that the A1, the first term of my sequence, is the value of 1. But after these first few terms that have been just explicitly written out, all future terms are described in terms of earlier terms. And what I mean by this is that there is some recursive formula like the following. We're going to say that the kth term in the sequence, the AK, is some formula in terms of prior terms. And in this example, it's the AK minus 1, the term that immediately precedes it, and then you add 3 to it. But in principle, on the right-hand side here, you could have any weird formula that was referencing only terms before the kth term. For example, the k minus 1, the k minus 2, the k minus 3, and so on. And so this is a recursive definition in the sense that new terms, the ak, are defined in terms of the previous terms. Now, note that in this formula that the k is just a placeholder. I could put anything there. I could put some other symbol. I could put a box. I could also put some other relationship about k. So for example, in this formula, what I've done is I've taken everywhere that there was a k up here, and I've put in a k minus 2 here, a k minus 2 here, and a k minus 2 there. And then maybe if I go in and do this algebra and I take the 2 to the other side, I can rewrite this as a k minus 2 is equal to a k minus 3 plus 3, and that this formula is only valid in the space k being bigger than 3. So the immediate takeaway is that these recursive formulas are not unique. That the first one and this one that we've gotten down here are the same basic underlying sequence, but they're just expressed in a bit of a different way. If a recursive formula is one that says the AK is defined in terms of previous AKs, AK minus 1, AK minus 2, and so on, then an explicit formula is one that doesn't reference, reference any other terms. The, the only thing it references is that value k. It's ak is some function of k, like k squared or k factorial. So one of the goals that we have is if I, if I have a recursive sequence, can I find an explicit formula for it that is not recursive? So let's look at the example that we had before. We've got this first term, the a1 is 1, and then the ak is given like this. I'm going to go and play around with this. I'm going to write out the first few terms, and I'm going to see if we notice some pattern, and have, therefore we'll have an ability to write ak as a function only of k. So the a1 we know, that's just given to us. We don't have to do any new work. a1 is equal to 1. Now let's do a2. So what our formula tells us is that if I'm going to use k equal to 2 here, so this is a2, it's going to be whatever the value of a2 minus 1, so a1 is, plus 3. So it's the a1 value, which was going to be a 1, and then I'm going to add to it 3. And there I get my a2, which we could then compute and was going to be equal to the value of 4. So the first term is 1, the second term is 4. Let's continue. If I look at what a3 is going to be, well, a3 is a2 plus 3. So it's going to be 4 plus 3, but I'm actually going to keep it in its original format. I'm going to say that it's the a2, which I'll leave as the 1 plus the 3. And then I'm going to add one more copy of 3. All right, let's continue again. I'm now going to say that the a4 is equal to the 1 plus 3 plus 3. So that was the value of my a3. And this, of course, is just the same thing as 7, but I'm not going to worry about that. And then we're going to add one more copy of 3. So what it looks like is occurring here is that because of this plus 3 that I have in my recursive formula, every time I go and do one of these terms, I'm adding 3 to it. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 3 is going to be equal to 10. So now what I want to do is I want to write down my a sub k. I want to write down the kth term to this sequence. And I want, to note, I want you to note the following fact. For a1, there were zero threes. For a2, there was one three. For a3, there was two threes. For a4, there was three threes. Notice how there's always one less three 
than the number that appears here. Like when the number is four, we're gonna have three threes, which is one less than four. When the number is three, we have two threes, which is one less than three. So I believe that that's gonna be the pattern. Every one of these terms is gonna have the one, so the AK is definitely gonna have a one out the front of it. And then it's got some number of threes, but the number of threes is the value k minus one. So I'm gonna write it as three k minus one. So this formula is the explicit formula for ak that comes about from this recursive definition for ak. Now, I believe we've done this accurately, but perhaps we've made a mistake. What I'm gonna show you now is a verification that the result that we have down here does indeed match this particular recursive formula. Clearly in the case of k equal to one, if I plug in k equal to one, this is gonna give me a zero. So for k equal to one, it does indeed match that my a1 is equal to one. So that part's good, but it's the recursive part that I'm really interested in. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say that a k, which I just said was one plus three times k minus one. And then the question is, is this gonna be equal to a if I plug in k minus one to it? So let's be careful here. If I wanna look at a k minus one, what I do is this is my generic formula for k, but I plug in k minus one here on the left and I also plug in k minus one here on the right. And if I'm plugging k minus one here on the right, then this term is gonna become k minus two. So the question is, is this equal to one plus three and then I'm gonna write it as k minus two. And the minus two comes from plugging a k minus one into this formula, I get the one more minus one. And then finally, plus a value of three. And this is my question mark. Is it true that this is the case? I'm trying to verify that this recurrence relation is indeed true. And I think so because I can take this formula here and I can manipulate it. I can say that this three can be brought in over here. So it's three K minus two plus one, which is precisely the same thing as one plus three K minus one. And so what have I done? I have verified that this equation is true and therefore verified that this explicit formula does indeed match this recursive formula.